Hello, hello, hello. Hey. <laughs> That's going to be my new intro. Hey. So, welcome to a resin tips video. I get a lot of questions sometimes where, what do I do? I want to get started with resin, but I have no idea where to start. So, this video is a basic starter pack <laughs> for um, beginning to work with resin. I'm also going to do one of these on acrylic painting, um, some tips and tricks. So, stay tuned for that as well. So, I have some paper this time to keep me on track and so that I don't forget anything. So the first, very first tip when you begin working with resin or epoxy, know what your project is going to be. So I love YouTube. I'm a YouTube content creator and I am also like a YouTube junkie. I watch other people's videos a lot and I know that river tables are everywhere everybody is making river tables and they are turning out like really really beautiful so of course as an artist you're like oh not even as an artist you know just the average individual that has some creativity is like i want to make a river table i, I want to make a river table too river tables are an advanced project and I say that because you don't know how much resin it takes to make a river table. That is not just a small project. So within the first tip of um, knowing what project you want to do, you need to know how much resin you're going to need and to just jump into uh, using resin and you've never used it before and you're pouring like a gallon or two gallon project, your first project, and eh, not the wisest idea. So I suggest um, knowing what the project is that you want to work on so therefore you'll know one, what type of resin you're going to need and two, you'll know how much resin you actually need to get. So tip number one, uh, know what you want to make and in that um, know how much resin you're going to need. So that's, that's tip one. Uh, tip two, have all the supplies that you're going to need. So when it comes to supplies, I have another video. It's like a, a part two resin tip. I was going to say tip jar. <laughs> Another resin tip video and I talk more in depth about um, the supplies that you need when starting working when you start working with like resin and epoxy. So make sure that you check that video out for details on the supplies. But with the supplies you want to make sure that you have everything you need before you sit down and get ready to get started on whatever the project is. So um, supplies, resin, um, a stir stick, uh, something to mix your resin in, a timer, um, uh, something to cover your work surface. So all of those things are things that you need to keep in mind before you just jump into a project and you know you're like oh I don't have this I don't have that. Now here's a caveat <laughs> because sometimes I get into my work studio and I'm just all over the place. I don't have everything that I need and it slows you down. It really does. So that's why um, I follow my own advice most of the time, but that is one tip. Just have all the supplies that you need within reaching distance so that it can be a more fluid art experience. So that's number two. Number three, be prepared to make mistakes. Be, be prepared to make mistakes anytime. What is this on this side? Oh, that's my upload. <laughs> that's my that's my YouTube upload schedule. <laughs> um, whenever you're working with a new art medium or just anything, if you wanted to get into construction, you're not just going to go out and just build a house. You know, um, if you wanted to become a chef, your first meal is not going to be like, Mwah! oh, that was oh, that was amazing. Like the, 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 the food critics are not going to go crazy about that first dish. So there are going there's a learning curve that comes with anything in life. Um, but with resin, because that's what we're talking about, there is a learning curve. 
every resin works differently it really does and there's so many different resins that you can choose from um, that it can be confusing as to what should I choose so my suggestion is always go to YouTube come to my channel and find out what people are using that they have had success with that has um, low VOC that has um, uh, extended working time like all of those things are things that you have to consider um, but you're going to make mistakes there's going to be mistakes and you know you're going to waste resin you're going to mess some things up but it is the the joy of creating you know you mess up and then you learn oh I'm never going to do that again and then the next project comes out a little bit better or you make the same mistake again but just in a different way so be ready and prepared to make mistakes now, one thing that I didn't put up here, but I just thought of while I was talking to you, um, when you are buying resin online, there are so many new companies popping up, epoxy this, you know, resin this, resin that, epoxy, and it's like, which one do I choose? Choose one that has a reputation for good, you know, if a resin and an epoxy is is really quality high quality it doesn't have to cost a whole whole lot to be high quality but if it's good resin somebody has made a video about it on YouTube like you know do your research and study the reviews like there's epoxies that I've seen pop up online because I search resin a lot and it's like um, bebop uh, epoxy.com who who are you who who <laughs> you know and ordering epoxy off of eBay um, nothing wrong nothing wrong with eBay at all I shop on eBay Amazon Aliexpress all of that but sometimes when you're ordering on eBay they are foreign companies and you just don't know what you're getting in the bottle uh, so I would stay away from that I would purchase uh, resin from reputable companies and resin that has a name that has been around for at least 10 years or so so that would be the fourth tip and then fifth and final tip if you've watched any of my other videos you know that I am huge on this and I make this mistake sometimes but safety 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 when it comes to safety, make sure you have your gloves, make sure you are in a well-ventilated area, um, make sure that the temperature is correct for the resin that you're working with. Most resins um, say to be within 70 to 80, some are 75 to 80, so just make sure that your temperature is reflective of what kind of resin you are using. But gloves are essential. Um, I actually got resin on my arm the other day. <laughs> I have a video and I don't know if I edited that part out but I'll try to find it and let you guys know what video it's in but I look at my arm and I'm like oh you know what is that and I'm thinking to myself it's the vitamin E that I had just you know greased myself down with after getting out of the shower so didn't think twice about it didn't go to rub it in or anything the next day I get up to take another shower and I'm like what is that on my arm y'all it was resin so I scraped and scraped and I don't even know if it okay yeah I did get it all off but <laughs> you don't want resin on your skin you don't want resin in your eyes you don't want resin internally so like don't do a resin project take your gloves off and then go and eat dinner without properly cleaning your hands and sanitizing because it, like I say in mostly all of my resin videos resin is no joke and you don't want to be one of those people um, that just waste resin trying to get it right but on the same token you're going to waste resin trying to get it right so that's why I always suggest um, that's another tip so that'll be tip number six start small I've said this in other tip videos and in other videos where I do resin art week mm -mm, resin art pieces um, start small you know get you a silicone mold that is small and that um, isn't going to waste a lot of resin so because I've had some mishaps in the last couple of weeks with my resin just experimenting um, I've wasted some resin so now I'm only pouring two to six ounces for most of my projects just until I completely understand how this new total boat resin works um, today I will be doing my third pour 
of the resin uh, because the first two they just they they weren't good pours and I want to give them one more chance to see if it is something that that I'm doing wrong um, so that is basically all I have for y'all today I uh, just wanted to come and give you some resin tips because I know I know I know how difficult it can be sometimes when you see something you know that you really really want to do but you have no idea where to start you're like where, where do I start? So this video is just a starter point, a starter pack, like I said. That'll probably be the thumbtack too, like a starter pack for resin. <laughs> but you just want to have some idea of what you're getting yourself into. And sometimes you watch other people's content, myself as well, and I'm like, I can do that. Oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to do that. And I have not done a river table yet. Um, I am preparing to do one, but I'm not going to do it with resin that I have no idea how it's going to turn out or how it's going to, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not going to use resin that I don't fully understand uh, for a river table. That's a lot of epoxy and I'm just, I'm not going to waste epoxy like that until I understand this resin. Now, if in the event that the resin that I'm currently using, which is Total Boat, and this is just a side note before I leave, um, if the Total Boat resin that I'm currently using is not going to be successful, if I don't feel like I'm getting what I need out of it, then I'm going to go back to Femmel Wood because I've been using Femmel Wood for years and it really, you know, I know that I can pour at least you know that that thick can you see that I can at least pour that thick and that's about as thick as I need to pour on most pours um, I would even be willing to use family wood for a river table so sometimes you get caught up in the hype of new resins and everybody you know on YouTube and in the community of art are using these new businesses or these these new resins that are coming out and they're promoting these resins I'm not being sponsored by Total Boat Total Boat doesn't know who I am outside of the fact that they have my shipping address and my credit card information because I ordered off of their website so this is not a sponsored video by any means uh, and even if it was I would be honest with you guys and say hey Total Bow is is sponsoring this video but I haven't had success with them so it's kind of hard to say you know yes this video is sponsored by Total Bow they suck like no oh no so <laughs> Oh, I'm so silly sometimes, but no, I'm not giving up on Total Boat quite yet. I'm going to do one more pour and hope and pray that this one comes out, you know, translucent without any bubbles, um, without overheating any of the issues that I've had with them so far. And fingers crossed, this one comes out good and I'll be like, okay, yeah, Total Boat is a go. But for now, I can support Family Wood. Once again, not sponsored. Um, it's just the product that I've been using for a long time and it has worked for me I've, I've never really had any major issues um, with family wood at all so on that note I'm out yeah that's it that's all I have for you guys hopefully that was helpful hopefully you learned something hopefully you got something that you didn't know before you watch this video hopefully you were entertained sometimes I just I don't, I have a filter, I definitely have a filter, but when I make these videos, I really feel like I'm talking to a friend, you know, somebody that I know that just needs some tips and tricks on something. So it is always my pleasure to give you everything that I have, you know, as far as my knowledge of um, working with different mediums. So on that note, have a wonderful day, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me put that down. Bye. Why when I say bye, I sound like Blue's Clues or <laughs> bye, y'all. <laughs>